Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I will show you how to use slider control in our Qt QML application and how to use its events and how to customize and redesign your slider control in our Qt QML application. So let's start. So first of all, import the Qt Qt control 2.15 and let's create the one column for it. Now here we use a slider to create this slider control. Use the ID property to set the object name for it. In Qt widget application, we use object object name property and here we use slider property, okay. Let's set the some width for height. So, let's set it this like, like this and set the range of the value. So, here we set the from and to value. In Qt QML application, we use the minimum value and maximum value. Here we use from value and to value. For a minimum value, we use from pro property and for the maximum value, we use to property. And also we set the step size. So here we let's set one and let's set the anchor property. Okay. Let's set, uh, create the one text control to display the text value. Or before the set, let's set the some spacing between two controls. So let's set and also set the up, uh, location. And now let's set the some text property to first of all set the ID property. Slider value is okay. Also set the some anchor property. And display the our label in the uh, center position. So here we use this slider horizontal center now let's run the application so you can see the our slider control property you can see the whenever you can see this slider value also here so by this way you can easily create this slider control in this property now let's create the uh, event. So let's create the on value change event. So if you perform any operation on slider value change event, so you can easily uh, use the uh, on value change event for it. And let's print this slider value. Now let's check it. Here is an error. So let's check it and let's run again. There is a spelling mistake one and now let's check it. So you can see the slider value, the current value and here you can see the current log. So by this way you can easily create the uh, slider value change event and you can use it on your as per your need. Now let's try to customize your slider control. So let's select the first of all the change the background. So here we have to first of all set the width, width property. And X S location.
and also we have to set the implicit width and height so let's set the width is 200 and set the implicit height is 20 and let's set the width property here also set the height so let's set the set as the implicit width and also set the radius for it so here we just divide by the height by 2 and let's select the color so let's select the color so pick up any one color so let's select this one okay and print it and now let's design the rectangle so here we have to set the width and also set the height so let's set the height as it is a parent height and let's select the uh, one color for it so select the color for it let's select uh, this one and now set the uh, radius so say, same as it is I divided by 2 and let's check it so this is the background rectangle which uh, set the uh, style sheet you can see so also let's send the uh, width and height here here we have to change implicit width instead of use height okay and now uh, check it so you can see the style sheet of our slider control you can also set the height here as per your need like set the 50 and let's check it so you can see so if you want to uh, change the height of your uh, bar slider bar so you can set the uh, height property like this and now let's we have to try let's try to customize or this our indicator okay so now let's try to customize this thing. So now here we we'll, let's change the uh, handle style sheet. Okay, first here we have to set the x location and y location so and now set the y location And also here we set the implicit width and height. And let's set the same as it implicit width also set the 25 and set the radius also here. So set as it the implicit width divided by 2 and let's select the color also. So when slider is moving, 
or slider space so let's select you one uh, specific color and when it's not spacing then say select a specific color so when slider is moving let's select the red color and when slider is not moving so select the uh, a black type color okay also set the uh, border color so let's select for the border let's select this one while caravading green and let's select the border width also this too and let's check it so you can see the uh, style sheet of also our let's run the again So you can see the uh, style sheet of our slider control. So by this way you can easily customize the uh, slider control style sheet. Also you can change the uh, width or height of your handle like this. So you can see the style sheet of our slider control. So by this way you can easily customize or use your slider control in your, your Qt QML application and drop your comment if you have any questions about Qt QML slider control and thanks for watching my video and please like this video and share this video with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of new video and thanks for watching my video thank you.